In the world of modern defense technology, the year 2026 has marked a significant milestone for the Philippines with the unveiling of the Sandato MK-3, also known as the Weapon MK-3. This advanced missile system represents a bold step forward for the nation's military capabilities, especially in a time when regional tensions and global security challenges are constantly evolving. Welcome to the Reverend Line, where today, we take you deep inside the story of the Sandato MK-3, the Philippines' next-generation missile that has captured the attention of defense analysts worldwide. For decades, the Philippines relied heavily on imports and alliances for defense technology, but the Sandato MK-3 changes that narrative. Unlike previous systems that were primarily defensive or short-range, this missile is a product of advanced local research combined with selective foreign collaboration. The MK-3 is not just another weapon though it symbolizes sovereignty, deterrence, and technological progress. At its core, the Sandato MK-3 is a multi-role missile system designed to fulfill various missions ranging from coastal defense to precision strikes on enemy infrastructure. Its development was overseen by the Philippine Advanced Defense Research Bureau, PADP, working in coordination with engineers from both the public and private sectors. The missile features modular architecture, meaning it can be easily adapted for different purposes such as land attack, anti-ship, or even anti-air roles depending on the warhead and guidance system attached. One of the standout features of the Sande to MK-3 is its range which is estimated to be between 500 to 700 kilometers. This allows the Philippines to cover critical areas in the South China Sea, extending its reach far beyond traditional territorial boundaries. For a country that has long been perceived as having limited strike capabilities, this missile changes the game entirely. With this range, the Sandato MK-3 enables strategic deterrence and gives military planners the ability to project power in ways that were unthinkable just a few years ago. The propulsion system of the Sandato MK-3 is based on dual-stage solid fuel technology, which provides rapid acceleration and sustained high-speed flight. Unlike older missile models that are vulnerable to interception during their boost phase, the MK-3S launch signature is minimized to reduce detection by enemy radars. Once airborne, the missile can fly at supersonic speeds, estimated to be around Mach 3, making it difficult for conventional air defense systems to intercept. Guidance is another area where the Sande to MK-3 excels. It uses a combination of inertial navigation systems, INS, GPS guidance, and terrain contour matching TURCOM, to ensure high accuracy even in complex battlefield environments. Additionally, the missile can be equipped with an active radar seeker or an infrared imaging system in its terminal phase, allowing it to lock onto moving targets such as warships or mobile missile batteries. According to reports from PADP, the MK-3 has a circular error probable SEP, of less than 5 meters meaning it can strike with extreme precision. Another critical element is the warhead versatility of the Sandato MK-3. Depending on mission requirements, it can carry a high explosive fragmentation warhead, a penetration warhead for hardened targets, or even electronic disruption payloads for disabling enemy communications and radar installations. This modularity makes the MK-3 a true multi-role asset capable of adapting to both offensive and defensive missions across different domains. From a launch platform perspective, the MK-3 offers flexibility. It can be fired from mobile ground launchers, naval vessels, and even aircraft with minor modifications. The mobile ground-based version is mounted on a 6x6 tactical truck, allowing rapid deployment and relocation. This mobility makes the system much harder to target, adding an element of surprise and survivability on the modern battlefield. Another aspect to consider is the command and control integration of the Sandato MK-3. 
The missile is designed to work within the Philippine Integrated Defense Grid, PIG, a real-time command system that links radar stations, satellite feeds, and reconnaissance drones. This enables real-time targeting updates and battlefield flexibility. If a target moves or if there's a sudden change in mission parameters, the MK-3 can receive mid-course corrections through secure communication links, increasing its adaptability and lethality. For the Philippines, the Sandato MK-3 is not just a technological achievement but also a political statement. In recent years, maritime disputes and territorial tensions have intensified in Southeast Asia, particularly in the West Philippine Sea. By deploying a homegrown missile system like the MK-3, the Philippines sends a clear message, it will not be passive in the face of aggression or intimidation. It is ready to defend its national interests with advanced, locally developed technology. Critics might question whether the Philippines can maintain and sustain such a complex weapons system, but the PADB has already planned for this by establishing local manufacturing and maintenance hubs. Training programs have been set up for engineers and military technicians to ensure long-term operational readiness. Unlike systems that rely heavily on foreign contractors, the MK3 is built with self-reliance in mind. Internationally, the development of the Sandato MK3 has attracted attention from both allies and competitors. Defense analysts from neighboring countries have acknowledged that the missile's introduction alters the strategic balance in the region. While the Philippines remains committed to peaceful diplomacy, having a credible missile deterrent like the MK-3 ensures that negotiations and territorial discussions happen on more equal terms. Some reports suggest that there could be export potential for the Sandy to MK-3 in the future. Several countries in Southeast Asia have shown interest in locally developed systems that are not tied to the export restrictions of major superpowers. If this happens, it could open a new chapter in the Philippines' defense industry, transforming it from a buyer of weapons to a regional supplier. In conclusion, the Sandato MK-3 missile is more than just a new piece of military hardware it represents a vision for the future of Philippine defense. It symbolizes innovation, self-sufficiency, and national pride. As regional security dynamics shift and technology continues to evolve, the MK-3 stands as a clear sign that the Philippines is no longer content to watch from the sidelines. It is now actively shaping its own defense destiny. Here at the Reverend Line, we will continue to monitor the development, testing, and deployment of the Sandy to MK-3 as it enters active service. If you're interested in the future of military technology, defense innovations, and game-changing weapons systems like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching.